Hi, and welcome to AV Talks. I'm Wasakib Chaudhry, Head of Digital Transformation at Cleveland Clinics Abu Dhabi. Hi, Saqib. Pleasure to be here. Can you tell me about the digital uh, transformation trends in the healthcare industry in the UAE? Uh, absolutely. So the way I look at uh, the healthcare industry as a whole, it's at a pivotal point of transformation, uh, mainly um, driven by the societal change, where consumers are demanding more and more, demanding and consuming more and more technology, and also because of the pandemic, which significantly accelerated that that transformation. Um, some of the key trends that that are uh, very visible uh, include moving away from uh, acute mo model of care to uh, preventative uh, care paradigm. You have uh, a move from volume-based uh, health to value-based health. You have uh, a move away from manual uh, intervention to robotic-assisted uh, intervention. You have your provider-centric uh, care to patient-centric care. Uh, you have your chronic disease management to chronic disease prevention using, using genomics and, and genetics. You have your inpatient interaction uh, patient interaction to uh, virtual and remote uh, care uh, type models. And one of the key enablers uh, for, for these, these shifts or, or transformational shifts or, or trends um, is digital uh, trans or digital technologies or digitalization. Okay. And some of these key digital, uh, uh, digitalization or digital technologies include artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, um, augmented reality. You have big data analytics. You have mobility. Wow. Right. Um, so, so, so at the heart of this healthcare transformation lies digitalization and some of the core technologies uh, along with it. Nice. Okay. With that in mind, how do, how ready do you think we are for the next pandemic? Endemic. So, so that's that's an excellent question. So one uh, one of the things that uh, pandemic, this recent pandemic, COVID-19 mm -hmm. taught us is to be nimble, be agile, and and embed digitalization into our day-to-day -day operations. So if you look at when pandemic hit, um, healthcare organization rushed towards setting up virtual front doors or virtual care. So your teleconsultation, um, ability for patients to request their medication uh, through some sort of digital means. Uh, digital monitoring, right? So uh, using uh, technologies such as your wearables, um, video conferencing, right? So, so it's very, very important for organizations uh, to continue um, down this path, become more agile, become more nimble, create that culture uh, within the organization that is susceptible, that, that actually is supporting of technology. And, and change the thinking from using technology as, as just a tool uh, to using technology to do your day-to-day -day, day -day operations. So, um, so the way I see it, if you want to be prepared uh, for the next pandemic or, or epidemic, uh, God, God forbid, um, we, we, we have to have a formal plan for how we digitalize uh, our, our not only our clinical procedures, but non-clinical as well. But with that, with all that digital, digitalization, people have like concerns with, with having their information, uh, personal care, health information out there online. So what role does cybersecurity play in comforting those concerns? Oh, absolutely. So, um, it's a, what you mentioned is one of the key challenges of digital transformation as a whole. And um, I would consider data privacy slash uh, cybersecurity as number one challenge. Um, in terms of cybersecurity, it absolutely plays a, plays a significant uh, role because there was a time uh, not too long ago when the patient information generated by the provider was kept within the confines or, or premise of the provider. And it was easier for that information to be protected. But now with digital transformation, that information uh, is moving away from being device-centric to, to data-centric. It can move over the internet, over the cloud, to a mobile device half the way across the world, right? So how do you, how do you protect that? And that's where 
cybersecurity's role has become so so pivotal, so significant um, in figuring out what are some of the controls uh, that they need to come up with in order to protect data, not only when it's at rest, but also when it's in transit, and also when it reaches uh, devices that um, organizations do not have much control over. So um, the, the key aspect there is to um, come up with controls that protect the data, right? Uh, it, would it be data obfuscation? Would it be encryption? Would it be some of the other tools? Protect data. If you protect data, then it doesn't matter where it flows and where it ends up. It will have a reasonable level of uh, protection. Okay. Cybersecurity is one of the challenges you said. What are the other challenges that healthcare providers are facing in their digital uh, transformation? Oh, uh, absolutely. So um, some of the other challenges, uh, one would be a scarcity of resources, right? So digi digitalization is evolving so rapidly. It's just difficult to find resources, especially technologies such as artificial intelligence, big data uh, analytics, uh, IoT. Uh, it, it's just... Well, first of all, we if you look at academia, we did not have, uh, for the longest time, more focused uh, degree programs for artificial intelligence, for these disruptive technologies. Now they're, they're coming up. So we, we had that gap where there's a lot of demand in the, in the market uh, to, to acquire those resources, um, but not, not many available. So I think uh, right now, and it's going to continue to be for the next three to five years that we will have scarcity of resources. And hence, it's very important for organizations to look into collaboration, uh, to partner with, uh, with other organizations, with research institutes, with tech giants, with startups, um, to, uh, to, to fill that gap, at least for the time being. The other uh, key challenge uh, is, if I look at it, is um, what, what is called uh, technology hype cycle, right? So it's, for some of these technologies, there's a hype that gets created. Like, for example, artificial intelligence, right, will, will, um, will take us to the moon, right? One day it will. Um, yeah. but, but you have to understand that um, it, it's a very incremental process, training the algorithms, for artificial intelligence, and similarly, using other uh, disruptive technologies, it's an incremental uh, process. It takes time to to train that technology, to to get the value that you're looking for out of that technology, and you need a lot of patience. So be be careful about the hype cycle of these technologies, uh, and be patient, and have a very clear goal in mind of how you want to use the technology to what end, and create an incremental, agile approach to get there. Then the other challenge um, would be uh, definitely regulatory compliance. So if you just look at data privacy, you have GDPR, you have HIPAA, UAE has their own, own uh, data privacy laws. And while the laws are there for, for our own safety and benefits, sometimes they end up impeding uh, with uh, some of the technology uh, implementation. So I think it's, it's important for the regulatory bodies, important for the government, uh, uh, governments to work uh, in partnership, in tandem with the industry to figure out what are the, the safest and most, um, uh, most reasonable ways to implement technology, right? And, and to uh, remove any um, impediments, any unnecessary impediments so that the adoption of technology can, be, can, can, can happen rapidly. For my final question, can you tell me the importance of events such as the Smart Healthcare Digital Transformation and Cybersecurity UAE Summit? Um, oh, ab absolutely. So um, one of the things um, that I've learned over time is we all have, doesn't matter how many years of experience we have, doesn't matter how much material we consume, we will always have blind spots when it comes to when it comes to technology, it comes to experience, right? And one of the ways you can remediate some of that uh, aspect is by learning from each other. So, so one of the key advantages of attending such events uh, is to learn from your peers, to understand, you know, what is going on, what am, what is something that I'm not thinking, and um, how other your peers have have taken the same framework that maybe I'm using and implemented it in a much better way. Right? Or uh, uh, on the same point, 
or maybe I can provide guidance to my peers as to how to use frameworks and how to implement controls in a more efficient manner. So that's one aspect. And then the other aspect definitely is the socialization, right? Creating your network. Anyway. It's very important. And un unfortunately, uh, since pandemic, we were deprived Factor. of that opportunity. So I think it's it's about time to, to go back uh, to that uh, aspect, network with uh, more and more of your peers um, so that even in the future, you're able to exchange knowledge. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank All you. Right, thank you. Thanks.